The college now has a world-class tower crane simulator where students can practice before trying out the real thing. It's a lot of fun, but it is also a serious investment by the Hebron Project. Here now, Zach Gowdy has the story. Now I'm going to bring up my load. It's as close to the real thing as you can possibly get. The Operating Engineers College in Holyrood is teaching students to operate tower cranes, but there's no textbook that can compare to this. I was in the Hebron site and I was working there for about two weeks and I was up in the crane actually operating. And then to come in here, it's so similar. The only thing that's different is that you don't have a signalman on a radio right now. You have a computer telling you where you need to go. This simulator is one of only 20 in the world. It gives students a feel for a very large, very scary machine. Back in 91 when we started the tower crane program for Hibernia, I was one of the students. So and that's 20 odd years ago, 21 years ago. Back then, you climbed the tower, and if you liked it, you liked it. If you were afraid of heights, you found out then, which is part of the deal. Back then, it was the Hibernia project that desperately needed tower crane operators. The college started its program to meet that market demand. Today, it's the Hebron project that has the jobs. And in fact, uh, from the first uh, class that uh, has already graduated from here, they've all got jobs, and so that's just a great news for the province. Once they've had enough practice on the simulator, students can step outside and try the real thing. The Hebron partners donated this tower crane to the Operating Engineers College. Now, there are six of these out in Bull Arm, but this one will still be here for the students after the Hebron project is finished. This class will leave the simulator behind when they graduate in August. And I'm all good. Zach Gowdy, CBC News, Holyrood.